DaVinci Resolve 18.1 is here. We're gonna hit the highlights and then I'm gonna show off some really, really cool things. If you don't know, by the way, Blackmagic Design on their main website, they have this support tab. It's where all the news is. By the way, you, that's where you can go to see their video about um, all of these updates. They talk a lot more uh, about the Fairlight page that I'm going to. I'm not an audio guy, but also really fun tip right at the start. If you don't know, you can come to this page and download any past version of DaVinci Resolve. Just here. It's amazing. But let me come up here uh, to the read more for this new update. New key features, that's what we want. Vertical resolution options in project settings for social media. You could always manually set timeline resolution, uh, but I think this is a combination of like making them presets and maybe there's like a button. We're gonna check this out soon. Uh, select custom thumbnails for YouTube uploads. So in your render settings, you can uh, choose to upload right to YouTube, uh, setting a custom like title and description, but now you can just send a long a uh, thumbnail. Cool. Support for individual timeline locks, enhancing multi-user collaboration. Uh, probably a really big deal for people using that online collaboration. I wanna talk more about that. New voice isolation feature. Uh, powered by the Neural Engine in Studio. So this is a studio only feature, uh, but, but their demo looked amazing. I, I pulled in the clip. I'm really excited to check it out. New dialogue leveler. It doesn't say in studio, so everyone should have this. Vector keyframing in Fairlight Automation. Um, I saw that in the video. I'm not an audio guy. And also uh, grid support for editing to timecode or music tempo. Seems really cool. I'm not an audio guy. Uh, reorganize and streamline view menu. Support for the Resolve FX Dust Buster, which is I've never used. Um, I'm, I'm curious whether that's like a dehaze or some extra stuff. Speed editor functionality in the edit page, very cool. Uh, some subtitle cool stuff for people who do those. Support for Magic Mask in the Fusion page. Gah! <laughs> this is a big deal. Um, I, I've been messing around with it in the footage you won't see, um, but I can't wait to show it off more. Uh, Dolby Vision stuff and support for fractional display scaling. Um, a really big deal for some people and like more stuff. We're going to talk about a really, really cool fusion, uh, feature that was on those, but on other stuff. And also, um, it does call out, uh, 10 times faster text plus playback. So like, depending on how far that goes into just general fusion playback. Oh, it's exciting. Let's hop in. Hey, this is resolve 18.1. I will pull up a still of the little pop-up you get. Um, because they popped up the first time I opened it, and then I'm, I'm in here now. So let's talk Magic Mask in the Fusion page. Ooh, the workaround you used to have to do, oh, was such a hassle. But now I've got a timeline, I've got this clip, I can hop into the Fusion page and just add a Magic Mask node. And yeah, come forward a bit, draw a little line on this guy. That does a pretty good job, wow. And yeah, track forward and backwards, look, He's moving, it's tracking, it's masking. <sighs> mm. Look at him, he's dancing, he's happy. Yeah, oh, we're, we're all the way, yeah, yeah, back at the beginning. And hey, look, I can track it. Oh, and it's masked. Uh, and note, this is using the faster thing, so better, um, we'll do some like slight blur and stuff, but I mean, and it's all on this node. There's nothing I can do to mess this up. I can even come in before this node add like a color corrector or any sort of like other stuff and it keeps it. It's just all happening on that one node coming uh, afterwards. You can, uh, I can come in afterwards and like just move this however I want. Ooh, oh, this is great. This is a great update. That's phenomenal. Uh, we got Dust Buster. I'm gonna have to look up Dust Buster. I've never used it before. It was a color page effect. I know that much. Let's keep going and let's take a second to talk about timeline, right? Let's create a new timeline and see what options we get. I call this vertical and I will come into format and see what we have. You see here, I have like 1920 by 1080, 1080 by 1080. So we do have square, but if I go to 1920 by 1080 and click use vertical resolution, okay. Then yes, it does just change these recommended settings here. Ooh, hey, also 1080. Uh, by 1350, that really popular, what, like a 3.5 deal? Yeah, so this use vertical resolution uh, just takes it and, ooh, 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 fun stuff. One thing I wanna check, um, it was a limitation on the free version of the past one where you, you can export in 4K horizontal, but you couldn't export in 4K vertical because it, it recognized uh, that vertical limit as like, it was funky stuff. I, I might check that a little bit later. But cool, vertical, real nice. Let's talk 
about we'll do audio stuff and then maybe a little more nice fusion stuff i pulled in this clip uh from a video from a creator i really like wellen he was at twitchcon did a vlog and was walking around and has this um he's walking around twitchcon so he has this audio clip with this all this like rum nosing people about him this is kind of like a gamer suit enclosure with a gamer in it you can hear him talking but what happens i haven't done this before click the track voice isolation does it need to do something if i play that kind of like a gamer suit enclosure with a gamer in it <laughs> <Arc. laughs> okay wait let's uh let's do it one more time this is straight i'll just do that first clip this is kind of like a gamer suit enclosure with a gamer in it then toggle it on this is kind of like a gamer suit enclosure with a gamer in it or you know tone it down even like let's run down like 60 or something this is kind of like a gamer suit enclosure with a gamer in it oh pretty cool pretty pretty cool <laughs> The demo they showed off of that was so, so impressive. Um, I'm sure like with static stuff, like it'll handle like traffic really well and all that other stuff, especially if your audio is very clear, then it should clean up a lot. Really curious how this will do some like, uh, get rid of like reverb on some stuff. We'll see, we'll see. Anyway, that's that. Like a gamer suit, enclosure with a gamer in it. Really, really cool. There is this dialogue leveler as well, um, which has a bit more options uh, you can also put this on a whole track so it's sort of like compressor meets other stuff very cool as well and i think from what it said available in the free version another small thing i do want to mention uh davinci resolve keyboard customization they specifically noted um that they brought in a bunch of stuff for the fusion page here oh and panels down to fusion page Previously, all these were hidden in like a weird submenu in Fusion settings. They're here now as well. Very cool. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, sorry. Edit, drag and drop media as inputs to Inspector on supported Fusion effects. How, 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 how? This is, this is legitimate like loader stuff. How do I, I just hopped back, saw that. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. As inputs. Ugh. Okay, quick. Let me show you the thing I know how to do. Okay. <laughs> Say you've got a video clip, in this case, like game stuff, and then you have the Resolve logo or any other thing happening in screen. And you've done some like slight rigging stuff. So like, you know, your timing is set. You want this logo over this video clip. So you take the logo, you bring it into Fusion, and it just brings in that one clip. But check this out. If I create a new media in and preview that, it will be the one thing, because most cases, it's taking this one clip into Fusion. It's saying, hey, this is the one thing you have to work in Fusion. Not anymore, because now in here, under media source in my inspector, I have background. I select that, and this brings in what was uh, on on tracks beneath or either either the one track beneath or all tracks beneath it does like an adjustment layer clip thing so now <laughs> this is so cool uh so i can merge these two back together so we sort of get uh if i preview this yeah logo over the background but i can come into the second media in bringing in the background add like a little bit of just like a, a gaussian blur or something blur that uh, which you might do if you have graphics coming up on screen but check this out i go back to my edit page and that blur is existing on this clip. And I'm pretty sure, oh yeah. And it, it like dynamically updates. So when this, when this shifts, it shifts correctly, but the blur only comes in. Oh, this is gonna, this is gonna be really, really big for people like me. And like some other people I know and work with who make 
any sort of like drag and drop title preset stuff. If you have like a title pop-up, sometimes you want just a subtle blur on the background. Previously, you would have to build that to be an effect that you would have to drop on the actual clip. But now it can be a standalone title that affects the background. Ooh, I'm gonna spend a minute trying to figure out that um, drag and drop thing they did over here. Okay, doesn't look like I can super figure it out. Okay, let me scan. Uh, we've got speed stuff. Search for fusion nodes using keywords. That should be pretty cool. Media in background, rad, rad, rad. Magic mask, big deal. Oh, and the color page, a really cool sky replacement uh, effect. Ah, motion blur on the surface tracker. Oh, and, and hey, uh, hardware accelerated uh, AV1, which is a big deal on all these new cards and stuff. It's, it's, Whew. take a breath. Look, performance. Look at look at that. Oh, they fixed an ATAB bug. They talked about that. Oh, hey, maybe fixing a big deal with compound clips. Okay, I started recording again. I'm getting ready to test this. Uh, background. Uh, oh, no, I don't want that. Just, just give me that. I might need to restart Resolve. Clip name. <gasps> Look, I made a thing. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, <gasps> video two. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's ugly. <laughs> it's ugly. But DaVinci Resolve has proper drop zones now. Yes, drop zones are here. Okay. Can't believe I saw that. Hey, if you love Fairlight, sorry about this video. <laughs> but that audio stuff we showed off. Let's crank that back up for fun. I like a gamer suit. Enclosure with a gamer in it. <sighs> okay, I'm sure I'll have plenty of follow-ups. Um, I have another video coming out tomorrow that I was going to finish in the morning. I was planning on going to bed early. But hey, this is where we're at. Stay tuned. Really, really powerful fusion stuff is going to come from all of this. Oh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.